Well, the bottom line is it's hot and everybody's trying to deal with this heat here in the middle portion of May. Our own Kevon Dupree spoke with a lot of folks, beachgoers included, about how they're enduring this current heat wave. Temperatures reach well into the 90s in parts of the low country today, and many people cope with the heat by heading to the beach. The heat is on here in the low country. This is a whole nother ball game here. This is like extreme humidity on top of heat. Some people don't mind the high temperatures. I like it. I like it better than the cold, that's for sure. You know, lets me have a chance to get out here. But others feel the heat has arrived too soon. It's way too early. Yeah. I mean, we just picked up jogging recently. So like, yeah, like, we're having to try to beat the heat to jog and I'm having to do it like late in the evening when it's dark pretty much because it's been so hot here lately. Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Rob Fowler says it's slightly early for such high temperatures. I think last year we didn't hit 90 until late May, so we're running ahead of that pace. But he says the heat has been worse in previous years. Thank goodness it's, this isn't 2016 when we hit 90, 98 days. So just about one every out of every three days that year was 90 or better. As people look for places to cool off this summer, Charleston County Parks is on the lookout for lifeguards to patrol those places. They recently announced operations at some of their water parks will be impacted by the staffing shortage. I know when I was a kid, I enjoyed getting out there to those, you know, splash zone type places. So I'd be disappointing, unable to go to those just because of a shortage on lifeguards. People who live around the low country say the presence of lifeguards near any body of water is always reassuring. Lifeguards usually CPR trained, good to have there in case of those emergencies, you know, have an extra set of eyes that are always on the lookout, you know, and lets you feel more safe. Charleston County Parks informed me they are conducting lifeguard training today at James Island County Park. Reporting on the Isle of Palms, Kevon Dupree, Count On 2.